Hi. Um, so the blog post does mention specificational needs and um, the concerns in that area. And it says that, you know, generally speaking, bearing in mind the pressure schools have been under, they've done a pretty good job. But it does seem that um, far too soon, certain schools have made a decision to cut back on support for those with special educational needs, particularly when it comes to one to one support, which can be really detrimental uh, to um, children who have got um, special educational needs. So I just want to know, because you, you have said in the blog post that there are some examples where schools haven't managed the situation particularly well, and that has had detrimental um, impact for for send peoples. I just want to know that in those cases, that those schools haven't therefore gone on to get good or outstanding inspection reports, having let down children with special educational needs. We look quite thoroughly at SEM provision in in our norm in our normal inspections. It's an area that gets significant attention, but it is not a limiting judgment. We do not we do not run um, an inspection model. That, that sets up a list, a, a list of 15 things without which you cannot get a good judgment. The essence of inspection is that it is a, it is a holistic weighing up of, of, the, of the provision acro across, across the board. So I cannot say definitively that no school um, with, with, with that, that has any kind of weakness in SEM provision could ever get an overall good judgment. That's not the case.